In this tutorial, we're going to look at the gear and path relationships and how we can use it to drive some motion uh, in a model. So, to start off with, um, we're going to replace these parts with some um, straight grippers. So, we'll start with the right hand one. When you replace a part, it will try and maintain all the relationships in here. Um, but in this case it's lost the relationship uh, for the um, gearing so we'll need to go back in and redefine that so go back to our gripper we can see that this one is going clockwise so we need to set a anti-clockwise motion on this one so we just hover over the center pieces and choose the rotation that we want so that's redefined that component and we need to rebuild this one as well. So this one has a path relationship which defines the range of motion on the gripper. So when we come in and uh, replace this part and suppress the relationships we see that we've lost both that path relationship and the gearing. So what we need to do is we need to just redefine those again. So if we go back to our path relationship, um, what it's working off is this radius here, and that is going to be driven along a sketch. Now the sketch is in this component here, so we just need to come over here and turn on our sketches so that we can see it and select it and that redefines that path relationship then if we go back to our gearing one uh, this rotation here is, is um, anti-clockwise so we need to have a clockwise direction on here so um, again we need just need to go back to um, here and make sure that we've got a relationship that's going to work for our gearing options. So now if we um, just come out of here, make sure that everything is active. And if we do a drag component, what we should see is we should still see that those two grippers are moving in relationship to that path so you can see how it stops out, out at a certain distance so the next step is to take it into motion control in Keyshot now if we want to animate this in Keyshot the first thing we need to do is to build a motor to drive the uh, gearing so over on the home tab we have a um, couple of motors we have the rotational one and the linear motor so we are interested in the rotational motor and if we pick our part and we can specify a direction so what we want to do is um, the total movement is about 38 degrees so if we just specify 10 degrees uh, we'll have a 35 degree limit and we'll just finish there so before we can create the animation in Keyshot we need to simulate the motor and we can see that we've got our motor in, in the animation so if we just save that that drops in here as our um, motion so if we just play that we can see that it's um, closing up the grippers so to complete this we want to just uh, copy this and by clicking over this side we can go paste and put those two up and again by right mouse clicking we can reverse the direction so now when we play this you can see that it will close and then open up again So once that's completed, we can save the animation 
and from here we can go straight into Keyshot. So once Keyshot opens, uh, we can see the model of our assembly. We can also see down here the, um, the animation that we've um, created. So what we may want to do is just color up some of these parts. So um, if I pick, a, say, a blue, which um, brings it up quite nicely to visualize it. And uh, if we want to see that working in the um, key shot mode, we can see how that builds. Let's just turn that auto play off. So the final stage is to go into render. And if we click on our animation, we can choose what type of video output we're after. And then go render. And that creates an AVI movie of our moving gearing. 